we got a gameplay on the new diamond glitch that found marbury and nba 2k23 my team he's gonna be a 93 overall point guard shooting guard he's gonna be six foot three so a pretty good height for that point guard spot looking at his stats he's got an 88 mid-range and 84 three ball i don't think he's gonna be glitched three point shooting wise i'm pretty sure he's gonna be glitched on the defensive end having a 94 steel 95 perimeter defense is gonna make him a lockdown uh, lockdown defender at that point guard spot he's also got an 81 interior defense and a 52 block he's got a 92 ball handle 85 driving dunk so offensively the card looks to be absolutely amazing and then defensively he's going to be amazing on the perimeter also going to be super fast 95 speed 95 acceleration with a 95 speed with ball talking about his badges he's got four in hall of fame including clamp breaker quick first step challenger and glove those are four really really good badges especially on hall of fame including clamp breaker probably one of the best badges in my team right now and then talking about the gold badges he got 21 including bully fearless finisher giant slayer ankle breaker hyperdrive killer combos post playmaker unpluckable clamps intercept their menace pogo stick and he does have seven on silver as well honestly guys i think stefan marbury looks to be one of the better point guards in my team i think you could honestly argue he is going to be a top 10 point guard in my team right now he's going to be up there with guys like derrick rose he's going to be up there with guys like caruso dejounte murray darren fox i do think he's going to be kind of around the same tier as those guys and where's marbury there's marbury so let's go test out his jump shot I want to test out a jump shot, see what his jump shot does look like. Where did Marbury go? What am I doing? I don't know how to sub somebody in, but yeah, Stefan Marbury looking at his dribble six first. That's the first thing I do want to test out. And man, that card's that card's burst is really fast. Wow, this card's movement feels actually really, really good. He has a really fast burst animation. And then looking at his jump shot, it's going to be very similar to Derrick Rose. Because he's got the Derrick Rose base, I mean, it's pretty much going to be like D-Rose jump shot, which is actually not that bad. So if we look at this card, I mean, Marbury's going to be a way better defender than Rose. He's maybe not going to be the best at going to the basket, especially like a guy Guy like rose with only having an 85 driving dunk but he's most likely going to be a better three hunter his movement does feel a little bit better than rose but he's basically just going to be derrick rose with way better defense so if you give rose way better defense and maybe not as good athletically going to the basket i mean this card is going to definitely be a top 10 point guard like i think he'll be better than guys like dejounte caruso and fox he also has the normal oh no he doesn't have the normal leaner which is a little bit of a flaw so i would say for point guards i mean for the diamond cards i mean i think he'll be better than caruso dejounte and De'Aaron Fox so after that I mean I think he'll just be Derrick Rose but better I'm not gonna say he's better than like John Wall Gary Payton those guys but I mean he's gonna be definitely a top 10 point guard and especially for his value he is gonna be such good value for a point guard but let's go green one more three and let's get on to the diamond Stefan Marbury gameplay into the clutch time game my opponent does have a pretty good squad he's got guys like magic johnson joel and b tim thomas so he's got a very good team and this should be a good matchup for marbury so he's going to try to go to the basket on the first possession but my opponent's going to play some pretty good defense he's going to pull up on the break with tim thomas and he's going to end up airballing that shot but we got to run in transition got to get marbury going on offense gonna find cream on the inside can cream get that dunk to go and yes he can I'm telling you guys, like offensively, I do think Marbury is going to be pretty solid, but I do think defensively, that's probably where he's going to be a little bit better. Having that 95 perimeter, 94 steal, I'm pretty sure like he's going to be a great perimeter defender as we're playing some great defense on Joel and B. Got to watch that shot back out to Tim Thomas. And we literally left the best card in the game wide open. You just can't do that. But offensively, I do want to see what this card can do. Because like I said, I know defensively what he's going to be able to get into is we're going to find Anthony Davis there for the normal fade. And we are going to be able to knock it down. I mean, Marbury starting off with two assists is definitely what you want to see. Got to lock up Magic Johnson. He's going to pull up from there. No way. Can we grab the rebound? Yes, we can. And let's get the ball into the hands of Marbury. Looking to take my man. Is that Eddie Jones? I'm pretty sure it's Eddie Jones. Looking to take him off the dribble. Marbury going all the way to the basket. And he can't get that dunk to go. So I will say, not necessarily a flaw about the card but one thing he's not going to be the greatest at is going to the basket he's still going to be good at going to the rim like 85 driving dunk pretty good defense from marbury good recovery good defense can we get the contest we kind of don't get a contest but not bad defense but what i was saying about marbury he's not going to be the best at going to the rim and with the meta this year i mean the meta is just going to the basket and being able to dunk so that's going to be a little bit of a flaw for the card but we're trying to pull up on the break can we get that to go and no we can't gotta hustle back he's got magic in transition and we are going to let him go all the way and get Get that dunk so i will say marbury i wish could dunk a little bit more and have like a 95 driving dunk but i still do think offensively he is going to be a great point guard as we be able to, we got to be able to knock these down that is on me man we've got to be able to knock down these threes what am i doing man i cannot make any threes right now 
Like, I know we got zero points, but those are two threes I feel like I just got to be able to knock down. But look at Marbury playing defense. He's going to get that tip pass, uh, tip pass, and we are here getting a contest on Magic, but he's going to end up greeting the 14%. I mean, that's great defense for Magic, getting that tip pass, and then also getting a 14% covered uh, contest on Magic. Like, that's not bad at all, man. That is not bad. Trying to find Tim Thomas on the normal fade, and we are going to be able to knock it down. I mean, Marbury's getting assists. He's finding his teammates wide open. We just got to be able to knock down those threes. Like, dunking-wise, like I was saying... I do wish he was a little bit better going to the basket, but defensively, this card does feel really, really good as we're going to let him go to the basket there and he's going to get that layup to go. I do think he'll be a good defender. I just wish his driving dunk was a little bit better, but guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this stuff on Marbury card? Do you guys think he's going to be a top 10 point guard is... Man, he's just getting blocked at the rim every single time. My opinion is starting to change a little bit on this card because he's just getting blocked at the rim every single time. But his defense is literally so good. Look at Cream playing defense. We're going to get the steal. Got to find Marbury running in transition. Can we get him going on offense? Because right now he's literally got zero points, but he does have a lot of assists. Looking to take Scottie Pippen. Trying to go to the rim. Can he finally get a bucket on the inside? And yes, he can. Getting that and one to go. Finally, Marbury's going to get on the boards. He's going to start off really good, though. He's going to get... Uh, he, he's going to get, I mean, his first buckets are going to be a nice and one there to only be down by one with two minutes left. I mean, defensively, I don't think he's been playing necessarily the best, but I mean, we can see he's going to be a great defender. I just want to see what he can do on the offensive end because we all know he's going to be a great defender with those stats, but offensively, he doesn't seem to be the greatest just because of only an 85 driving dunk and it doesn't seem like he has the best dunk animations as you can see he's just going for so many layups and if that was a Derrick Rose if that was a Westbrook or a John Wall I feel like they at least go for a dunk attempt there and most likely they get the dunk to go so I will say man we're getting so many like rip steals so I will say in that situation that's where I think the card is you know not necessarily going to be the greatest because I feel like a guy like Derrick Rose probably would have got that dunk to go as he's just taking so many layups but we'll finally get one to drop there so that's my only flaw about the card i will say is just the fact that he seems to be taking a lot of layups and really doesn't have probably the best dunk tendency or something about the card he's just not able to flush down like these crazy contested dunks but defensively he is flying around the court that is great defense as we are going to force a shot clock violation but like i was saying guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this stefan marbury card i do still think he's gonna be a top 10 point guard i do think he'll be better than guys like caruso dejounte murray and darren fox i think it's closer than i thought it would be but i still do probably like him a little bit more his burst is amazing as i try to pass that to anthony davis but we're gonna get that layup to go i mean he's got five points and three assists there was that one three that i definitely got to be able to knock down i'm still kind of getting used to his jump shot i haven't used zeros in a while so i do kind of get got to get used to his jump shot but man Magic going to get a blow by animation there and go all the way to the basket. Not what you want to see from Marbury on the defensive side of things, but can we get it back? Can we get the bucket back? Only 46 seconds left. We got to be able to score the ball, man. We have got to be able to score the ball. Marbury looking to take him off the dribble. That's just not good offense. That is just not good offense, but Marbury with a little bit of space. No stamina. The no stamina shot. Marbury's going to be able to knock it down. That is kind of funny how literally I have no stamina in the worst situation possible, and that's going to be the first three we make. Got to play some good defense. Look at Marbury on the defensive end. We're going to get that steal and we are running in transition he has literally got no stamina looking to take people off the dribble gonna find cream on the inside and now barberry starting to cook a little bit more he's got eight points and four assists on the ball game we do have a four point lead no way he makes that can we grab the rebound yes we do and it looks like that might be the ball game unless we turn it over gotta find tim thomas here on the wing can we knock it down for game tim thomas with the normal leaner and we're able to knock it down i mean marberry stats wise i mean he played pretty good man eight points five assists that's definitely very solid i do wish defense Defensively, he played a little bit better but we can definitely see like great defense there from Marbury he's going to be able to get a stop on Magic that's what you like to see he's only six foot three but he'll even be able to guard guys like Magic Johnson especially at that point guard position but looking at his stats here he had eight points five assists one steal really didn't shoot the best that might be on me for taking some bad shots but i will say guys the only flaw about this card is that he doesn't really dunk that many balls like he doesn't go up and dunk everything he wants to lay it up a lot of times which is going to get blocked or get contested more so i will say that's the only flaw but marbury overall is going to be an amazing point guard but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace